I'm Jim with RV and with Jim and Barb. And it's the last day of March here in Northwest Ohio. March came in like a, a lamb. Probably going to go out like a lion. Uh, chance of severe weather uh, in our neck of the woods for tonight. Anyway, uh, Barb's at work. She'll be joining us tomorrow. So my son and myself, we're taking off heading to Auburn to Fireside Resort for the weekend. Uh, we're all hitched up, loaded, ready to rock. I'm going to do my final walk around before we pull it out and then on the way to uh, fill up Chucky, the camper truck, truck uh, who has a severe drinking problem. So here we go. I'll run around, check everything. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Looks good. Ant can up in the air. No wheel chocks. Yeah, Sheila did get a bat. It's going to be dirty before I get there because that's Murphy's Law. All right, so I always turn on four-way flashers make sure I got stuff I got the headlights on to make sure all the lights are working it appears to be camera shy son made a run of course. boys 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 check this two three times make sure it's latched Fire pit wood. All right, so we're going to get her pulled out here shortly and. Okay, so I pulled it out onto the street in front of the house, and I always do another walkthrough. And of course, if you follow the channel, and if you've not subscribed, like our channel again, subscribe, hit the little bell icon there so I know that you like the video. Because whenever I tow Sheila, the winds are howling. And yeah, we're under a wind advisory, so not a shocker there for me. But I always do another walk around to make sure everything is fine. And then we'll go to the gas station and fill up Chucky, who's currently at a half a tank. I should have filled up for two weeks ago, uh, but I, I didn't when we were camping it. A lot of that. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, checking everything. Uh, check, check, check. Check the stabilizer. Again, I don't typically get that really super tight. I bent one before. So I uh, err on the side of caution. So, going to get started. Head to Van Wert and fill up Chucky, and then we'll be on our way.
We're at Fireside RV Resort in Auburn, Indiana. I finally got set up. It's real windy out here, so I did not set up the camera uh, to catch, well, the boring stuff uh, of setting up. But I'm going to kind of turn this around a little bit. There's a fifth wheel coming in. There's the office. Really nice restrooms here. Pool. Uh, the lot's pretty level. I did... Uh, let me turn that around and get out of the wind. Uh, the lots are pretty level. I did have to run the driver's side up on a couple of boards. As you can see down there. But outside of that, uh, pretty nice. Uh, calling for some really nasty storms so and of course i'll do the right thing in the rv we'll go to the restroom uh yes if the storms get really really bad but really a nice facility here um took us oh about an hour or so to get here uh, so not too bad from our house my son's with his daughter they uh, got a camper out here and he finally got to meet his grandson for the first time. I got to meet my great grandson for the first time. So I'm gonna spin you around and then I'm gonna walk down to uh, their camper and show you kind of the setup here. Like I said, the lots are pretty level. I just uh, ran the uh, driver's side up on two boards. So I'll save myself some grief that way. So there you have it. I'll check in after a while. I'm gonna go down and finally get to hold my great grandson. Well, good morning. <laughs> Saturday morning. Uh, we're still camping here at Fireside Resort in Auburn, Indiana. Severe weather did come through this area last night. Wow, what a storm. Uh, luckily, there was a motor home that pulled in right there in the spot beside us for a wind block. It got so windy, the camper wasn't shaking. It was rocking and the sun was asleep and he's hard to wake up to begin with. And finally I got him woke up and I said we need to get to the truck because the plan was to run to the truck drive to that building right there in the storm and go in the restroom but by the time I got him woke up it settled down a little bit 70 and 80 mile per hour winds the door side of the camper is facing the west and the storms was coming out of the west so this morning I kind of went around and looked to see if there was any damage because it, it the rain was was horizontal i mean it was pounding the side of the camper chucky the camper truck got dirty on the way here because of the rain that we got into and well he's pretty clean so i did notice a couple of things uh so far uh, i always have plenty of tools and stuff with me uh, when you have an RV, you definitely want a square bit number two because the skirt here that runs along the bottom, these screws here are loose. <laughs> they wasn't loose before. Luckily, the trash can, I came out, put it in the camper, luckily, or it would have been in Michigan or someplace. But yeah, these screws are loose. This one here is really loose. This one's backed out about halfway because the storm was coming in through there. So I was really getting the blood out of here in the front. I came out this morning and this, <laughs> which is well you know how these work it opens up this opens this way this was laying over there in the gentleman's yard next door my table that i had folded laying under here i, I keep my blackstone on that 
was also in his yard. <laughs> so, uh, everything else looked fine. I was a little concerned about my slide topper because uh, I could hear it flopping as the wind kind of changed directions a little bit. Uh, but it appears to be fine. They did turn the water on yesterday. Uh, so when I pulled in, I did fill the tank, so the tank was full. Uh, so I was going to run off the tank. And Speaking of running off the tank, the pump, when I turn on the water pump to pump water, well, let's just say everybody in the campground knows I flushed the toilet because that thing is loud. So that'll be another video on changing that. Luckily, it's under the sink, so I'm going to be ordering one of them really soon. Our campground that we have a permanent spot opens up in two weeks, so no big rush to get the uh, pump changed. It is pumping. It's just really, really loud. Uh, so... Uh, hmm sewer plastic sewer doodad there on the ground <laughs> who knows where that came from uh, <laughs> but uh but yeah everything else appears to be okay good morning youtubers jim with rv and with jim and barb we're keeping it real it's sunday morning here in northeast indiana we're at fireside resort uh, in Auburn, uh, if you're familiar with the Auburn Cord of Duesenberg, uh, the complex is, well, kind of across the road on the other side of 69, but you probably will hear some of the uh, road traffic. Uh, so today, well, we're going to hitch up and we're going we're gonna to head back home, but uh, of course, yeah, we already had breakfast. Uh, hash browns, eggs sausage so i just gotta do a little cleaning up here but uh kind of chilly it's hard to believe friday it was 61 degrees and of course we had all that severe weather uh, come through where we're at here and really kind of across the majority of the middle part of the country uh, tornadoes just to the south of us and then from home tornadoes southeast of us in a town called Wapakoneta where I used to live two weekends ago of course the video won't get posted until yeah, probably another week or two but uh, two weeks ago I got the video I got to get it edited we were at Arrowhead Resorts in Wapakoneta our friend Dan, his camper, was right beside us, and he wasn't camping, but uh, you'll catch some of his camper in some of the uh, shots. Anyway, Arrowhead uh, Resorts took a direct hit early Saturday morning and pretty well destroyed the whole entire campground. The roof was off of the uh, clubhouse that has the... Uh, swimming pool and the hot tubs in it that I will talk about in the video before this one. Uh, there was some injuries. Our friend Dan, he was not there. His camper is wrapped around a tree and on top of another car. Um, it was a direct hit and I will post some pictures of his camper, some of the damage around that area. It really rattled my timbers. Um, because my granddaughter and great-grandson uh, are here at this campground and that's why we decided uh, we was going to come here instead of Arrowhead uh, we was going to go back and we would have been there and that really really rattled me uh, by the grace of God it's like no let's go to Fireside and spend the weekend with my granddaughter and great-grandson and, and her husband. It really, really shook me up. Oh, the boy's trying to sneak out. He's camera shy. So let me, <laughs> let me kind of mosey along here. Uh, but anyway, that really, really rattled me up really bad because we would have, uh, we would have been there we would have been there right beside Dan again on spot 24. In the previous video, uh, there's uh, 
Well, you'll, you'll see it was a beautiful resort, absolutely beautiful Arrowhead Resorts. And it flipped cabins over, really, really a bad situation there, and injuries, no deaths there, uh, thankfully. Uh, but uh, I will uh, include pictures in this video of it, uh, so of the damage there in this video. But anyway, I uh, was just checking in with you. It's, uh, I think, around 9 o'clock-ish here Sunday morning. Quite chilly, uh, 34 degrees, I guess, but that's all right. <laughs> it was fairly, it was in the 40s yesterday, but the wind was still howling. Of course, Sunday was pretty decent. <laughs> or uh, Monday, or Friday. <laughs> I'm so confused, I don't even know what day it is. Uh, but yeah, Friday was really nice before the storms hit, so. Uh, but anyway, I'm uh, gonna just kinda, kinda spin you around a little bit here. Um, uh, yeah, so, that, <laughs> I, got, I, got, I gotta tell you this story real quick. <laughs> this garden hose, You've seen my other videos about this garden hose, how I hated it, how it was guaranteed not to kink. I had it rolled up in the back of Chucky and was actually going to throw it away. I did buy a Zero-G hose, um, and I decided I just wasn't going to hook it up because it was supposed to get down below freezing um, this uh, last night, but... I decided to uh, just go ahead and use the one out of Chucky. Uh, I got one more use out of it, so I may, I may hang on to it. I don't know, <laughs> possibly. <laughs> but yeah, it was guaranteed not to kink, but well, it did. Uh, so, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm just looking at look at my Blackstone here. Let me, let me bring you in a little closer. Uh, I, I carry shims to level up. Normally, I do put a rug down, uh, my two rugs I normally have, but um, there was so much wind, and this is to the west. So here, uh, the wind comes out of the west, obviously, so I decided I just wasn't going to do that. I just wasn't going to put it down. So uh, we're using the uh, gravel here, which I like this. The way they got this set up, it looks like it's... Uh, recycled road payment is what it looks like and it seems to really really good uh, so but here in a little bit we're gonna we're gonna get hitched up here in a little bit and uh, we're about an hour away from home and uh, it's supposed to warm up to in the 50s today but uh, I don't know according to the sky and uh, I don't know <laughs> but uh, but anyway, we're going to hitch up here in a little bit and start back towards home. <laughs> 